I was at a non-pettit football camp and I went up for a touchdown pass. Long story short, I suffered a diffuse axonal injury, also known as a DAI. It was like taking the thing that defined me, the sports, away. And one of the main things that I realized from cross country is I was really selfish and ignorant on how insane of athletes these guys are. I mean, people think, oh, running three, three miles isn't very hard, but when you're at a, like, your racing speed, like as fast as you can go for three miles, it's difficult. Like, these, they're some real athletes, and people don't give them enough credit for what they do. It's pretty crazy. It's exhausting, and it's not just exhausting on the body, it's exhausting on the brain and the spirit that stuff so at this point I'm just kind of done I just need a break from everything and then I just I'm ready to after a tiny break I'll be ready to get back to the gym which I still go to but I'll get ready back to go to the gym and then lacrosse season will come out. so that's what I'm excited about I'm just in the lacrosse mindset right now so cross country is already over to me I am incredibly grateful for the opportunity to run cross country because I was never supposed to play sport again, I was never supposed to walk again, I was never supposed to wake up again. So the fact that I'm able to do any of those things, I just feel lucky every single day in my life. Lacrosse is just, it's a lot like soccer. It's just constant running, it's uh, aerobic exercises, it's not sprints like football, it's long enduring where you need energy and you have to be able to stay out there. So cross country is I think the perfect like segue sport for lacrosse. If you want a great coach, good teammates, and something to just keep you in shape and keep you responsible and accountable, cross country is a sport you got.